Yesterday, Gamescom Opening Night Live happened, and we got tons of new game announcements and new info about some upcoming games. Let's not waste any time, and let's get straight into it. Let's start with easily the biggest announcement from Gamescom, and that was Dead Island 2. Technically, this is a re-reveal, but it looks like a completely different game from the very first footage we saw back in 2014. After almost 11 years, we are finally getting the full-on sequel to the first Dead Island. The game looks amazing, and I'm honestly surprised at how good it looks. The graphics look great, the gameplay looks fun, and I'm just glad we're finally getting the game. I'm really excited about this game, and I hope it's really good. Dead Island 2 launches February 3rd, 2023 for Xbox One, Series XS, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC exclusively on the Epic Games Store. Everywhere is our next title, and we don't have much to go on. Everywhere is made by a new studio called Build a Rocket Boy, which is headed up by Leslie Benzies. If you don't know who Leslie Benzies is, he's one of the founders of Grand Theft Auto, so that's pretty massive. Some serious talent is behind this game, but we don't quite know what it is. All we really know is it's open world, and the and one of the quotes we got for the game is, well, quote-unquote, it's blurring the line between reality and digital world. Hopefully it's good, is that all I can really say? <laughs> This launches 2023 with no announced platforms. June Awakening is a survival MMO open world game set in the June universe. The trailer was all CGI, so we have no clue what the actual game looks like, but a June survival game could be quite cool. But personally, I think a full on action RPG could have been much cooler, but I'm still excited for this game. No release date and no platforms, I would guess 2024, maybe even 2025. I think this is quite a while away. Borderlands is back. Again, the last Borderlands spin-off only launched in March of this year, but we're getting another one. New Tales from the Borderlands is a sequel to Telltale Games' hit episodic adventure series Tales from the Borderlands. The only difference here is New Tales from the Borderlands is created by Gearbox and not Telltale, so hopefully it'll be as good as the first game. But I can't lie, the trailer just didn't interest me at all, it just looked okay. Hopefully it's good, but I'm not that excited for it. Hopefully we'll get some new footage of the game and it'll get me a bit more excited, because it just didn't look fun, to be honest. It just didn't interest me at all. New Tales from the Borderlands launches 21st of October for Xbox One, Series XS, Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, PC, on Steam and the Epic Games Store. We also got a new Gotham Knights trailer, showing off some of the villains, including new reveals of Clayface and Harley Quinn. The game has also moved release date, which is not a bad thing, as it actually moved from the 25th of October to the 21st of October. We have no clue why they moved the release date, but I guess at least we get to play the game earlier, so there's no real downside. Gotham Knights launches on the 21st of October for Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 5, and PC for Steam and the Epic Games Store. This kind of caught me off guard. Where Winds Meet is an open-world action-adventure RPG, and it looks pretty damn cool. No clue what it's about, but the gameplay and the graphics look pretty incredible. Where Winds Meet has no release date or announced platforms, so all I can say is the game looks really cool, but it's probably quite far away. <laughs> the Lords of the Fallen is the sequel to the first game, Lords of the Fallen. It's another game with a confusing title. They could have just took the Borderlands approach and called it New Lords of the Fallen, but anyway, it was just a CGI trailer and it didn't show any gameplay. So no clue what it's about, but going off the first game, it was kind of like a Souls-like, it was kind of super hard trying to be a Souls-like. We have no clue what this game's about though, it could be something completely different in the Souls-like. We have no clue, as they only showed a CGI trailer. The game has no release date, but it does launch on Series XS, PS5, and PC. Now, this is one of my favourite reveals of the show. Deck 13 of Focus Home Interactive revealed Atlas Fallen. It has a generic but pretty cool looking CGI trailer, but those last couple of seconds of gameplay they showed looked really good, and I wish we got a little more of that. It looks like some really flashy combat and the ability to surf and control sand looks really fun. Atlas Fallen launches in 2023 on Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 5, and PC for Steam and the Epic Games Store. And that was all of my favourite announcements from Gamescom. There's definitely a couple more games, but these are my personal highlights and I think the ones you should be excited for. There's a couple more games, but I wasn't too excited by those. I think these are the absolute highlights of Gamescom Opening Night Live for 2022. What was your favourite reveal of Gamescom? Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what your favourite game that was showing off at Gamescom Opening Night Live. Anyway, thank you for watching, I've been the Intel, and have a lovely day.